Hi loves, it's Marina. Did you miss me? I'm back now with this cool new tutorial about the flare. Hi Elizabeth, hope you're watching. Okay, let's go! It's a dire misconception that the spin pole is kind of easy. Yeah, sure, it is easy when you just go there and hold a pretty pose for a small eternity. Uh, yeah, it is easy. But when it comes to any type of dynamic stuff, such as the flare, it takes way, way, way more effort than stat. But don't worry, today I'm going to teach you all the fun details about the flare to make it happen. <sighs> In order to make the flare happen, you guys have to have really good grip on that top arm. In order to practice your grip, you can do this. It is hard. I don't expect you to get this right away. This kind of advanced level. I'm not sure why I started with that. However, if you want to work on your grip, you can just do the pencil. Body engaged, biceps engaged, palms engaged, your fingers are also engaged. Hanging, 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 hanging there. This is how you train your grip on the spin pole. This is really, really important. Because of the nature of the spin pole, the pole spins out of your palm. It wants so bad to spin out of your hand. You know, and our goal is to not make it happen by holding it as tight and as fast as we can. You're putting the pole in your palm as deep as possible. And then you, once the pole is tight and secure in your palm, you wrap your fingers around really, really tight. So not like some kind of a loose grip, no. Deep inside your palm, wrap fingers around. Now, finish it off by engaging your fingers. Just like you engage your toes or your legs or just about anything else in pole, your fingers need to be engaged. They need to be hurting. They need to be hurting so, so good. That's gonna help you so, so much. So now, let's get to the technique. Important point about the technique is that Everything in the flare starts from your legs. They give your body the momentum to go around the pole. It's all in the legs, seriously. Don't even attempt it if you're gonna let your legs hang like two little sausages. No, your legs are going to drive the movement of the flare. The higher your legs go in the flare, the less slipping there is on the top arm. It's physics. The higher the legs are in the flare, the less slippery is the top arm. If your legs are hanging somewhere there, your top arm can slip. Your legs go all the way up, your top arm does not slip. And one more thing, in the flare, it's all about your legs. So it's not like you throwing your body away and out of the pole. This is wrong because you're gonna fall. Your body stays straight, okay? It's the legs that do all the job. So now I'm going to show you and I'm going to try to explain it to you as I'm doing the flare, which is going to be a challenge, but we can do it. So, okay, so look, my flare position is top arm is above, my bottom arm is pretty much on the level of my face. Now I'm giving myself the momentum, giving myself the momentum swing forward. Now from here, I'm not quite around the pole yet. Do another little push with this leg and I'm here. This was a really, really bad looking flare, but I hope it was really, really good for the demonstration. So let's try once again. I'm here. Did it make sense? Let's, let's take a look at the movement of the legs on the floor. I thought this might make it more clear. So my legs are essentially doing a windmill. I'm starting my windmill like this and then just do a big fan with my legs. So try it a couple of times on the floor. I'm gonna show it from here as well. 
this is the windmill and this is how your legs should be in the flare. If I had a better middle split, it would have looked better, but I don't have a middle split. Maybe I'm gonna make it a subject of my next tutorial, get in the middle split, and maybe you'll join me in this adventure. So, another thing that I thought could be useful is to try the flare from the ground. Some people do a really cool run up to the flare, so I'm gonna attempt this and show you. Little jump, swing, around and spin. Ooh, so fast! But did it make sense? If you don't feel comfortable climbing all the way up, you can do the same same exact sequence from the ground. One more time. Like that! Wing the leg forward. Did you notice how first my leg went forward, kicking my body around the pole? And then I finished off the flare by kicking this leg backward. And this helps finish off this body motion around the pole and gets me fully around. So then I can do this. This is really it, guys. This is really it. One leg kicks forward brings your body around, then this leg kicks backward, finishes off the kind of the circle motion of your body, and then you can do this. This is hard, guys, but I know you can get it. I know you can. I believe in you. Once again, my name is Marina, and this is David Lynchmitz Expo channel, and my flare, I say my basic flare tutorial, has come to an end. This basic flare is the entryway to so many other cool variations. One of them is split grip and I'm going to show you right now. This is a harder version because at one point you're literally hanging on one leg but it is also really really pretty. <sighs> Yeah, I slipped. Anyways, master the basic two-handed flare version first, and then you can start working on the split grip version. Meanwhile, if you would like to set some leeway, you can start practicing the split grip without the flare, which is just this. It's going to give you some training. It's going to train your bottom arm, going to train your top arm, for the split grip flare and in the future for one-handed spin which I don't have yet but I'm actively working on it and the minute I get it I'm going to give you guys a tutorial about it as well like this video and subscribe to my channel follow me on Instagram and like my videos there too or just leave a comment ask me a question I'm going to be around if you need more help or if you have more questions with your flair after you attempt this tutorial for sure do let me know and we're going to try to make it happen for you okay bye guys <laughs>